Shalawam, like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai. Uh, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I've learned this truth from. And um, and above, uh, above all, all praises due unto Yahweh, the Father, and Yahweh Shai, the Son. So, uh, my name's Kanawak uh, from Great Millstone, Toronto. This is going to be my new channel, GMS Wisdom and Meekness. So, uh, please subscribe and... Uh, yeah, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, or just or just subscribe, you know, and um, my uh, previous channel was GMS uh, Yasha Allah Banyamin, but this is, good, but, um, but now, um, this will be my new channel, GMS Wisdom and Meekness, so, um, yeah, so this is gonna be just uh, a short video, 10-15 minutes, you know that's what I'm gonna try to do uh, for these type of videos, just short and brief. And um, yeah, so um, I'm here. Yeah, this is off the blue letter, um, the word meek. You know, cause uh, the spirit chose that channel. You know, GMS wisdom and meekness, and uh, and that's it, man. We're just. Uh, you know, like this video is going to be about meekness, you know. So, uh, there's, uh, I went on Blue Letter, there is uh, 16 verses in the in this, in the scriptures, you know, that uh, entails meekness. And, uh, you know, because, you know, because, you know, because Moses was a very meek man, you know, and uh, he was a friend of the father you know like yahweh right so he was a very so he was an honorable man in the in the presence of yahweh you know? and we know who moses is you know you know we know that moses is david in in, in the reincarnation but um this is numbers 12 and 3 um now this man Moses was very meek above all men which were upon the face of the earth. So yeah. So Moses was a very meek, you know, because Moses is the one who uh who gave us the the laws, you know, in in, in, in Mount Sinai. You know, and uh he went up to the mountain um forty days you know, and uh, wrote the like the, you know, on on that like, wrote the commandments on 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 the on stone. You know, so he was very meek. You know, uh, Numbers twelve and three, it says. Um, let me put this. Now Moses, now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. So let's look at the word meek. Meek, which is in the Hebrew, is ein, aina, aina, which means poor, humble, afflicted, meek. And right now, yeah, like we're very poor and afflicted, man. You know, because, you know, like we've been in captivity for, for, you know, for many moons, for over 500 years, you know, from 1492, you know, where the persecution from um, us, like um, fleeing from Spain and Portugal and going and into new lands, you know, and, you know, a lot of persecution. And we're still we're still being persecuted, man. You know, so, so so that's us as a as a nation right now, man. We're very poor and needed, man. But we need a savior. That's why the Lord's gonna bring His Son, and He's gonna reconcile, and He's gonna like, and He's gonna He's gonna stand up for us because right now, 
we're we're poor and we're afflicted man it says poor humble afflicted meek poor needy poor and weak yeah I'm, 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 I'm like and we're very weak right now you know it says poor weak afflicted humble lowly meek let me look at the the root root word in hebrews 60301 which is aina it means uh to become occupied become like busied with to oppress oppress humble to afflict yeah that's why you know some of our people you know like some of us have to be working two three jobs you know like to make ends meet man side hustles you know have a you know you might have one job you know but you might have to do something you might have to do uber skip the dish you know you might have to do something you know like just to you know stay busy and to be occupied you know and, and that be able to have um you know you know like uh, like you know i'm um, like to to be able to like um to maintain yourself basically because you know because we're like we're overwhelmed with bills you know rent payments uh, you know i think in, in that baruch 4 it says uh i think the third chapter or the fourth chapter says that we're um gonna get that quick baruch four let me get it quick Salakia. So yeah. i think it's in baruch Baruch Salakia Salakia Yahweh Okay Baruch It's in Baruch 4 Let me just double check Let's check Baruch It says to prove all things, right? So I don't wanna, you don't wanna be able to prove it. Baruch Slaka. Okay, it's Baruch three. Slaka Baruch three. Baruch. What's going on, Baruch? Yeah, Baruch three and one. Slakia, yeah. this thing's not loading. Slakia. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to open up this thing. Slakia. Yeah. Bar Baruch three and seven. Hold on, I'm just waiting for this to open. Baruch three. Okay. Come on, man. Yes, this is Baruch 3. I started um, and 7. Straight to the point. I start at uh, verse 6. Baruch 3 and 6. For thou art the Lord, our power, and, and thee, O Lord, will we praise as for this... And for this cause hast thou put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name, which is important to call upon the name because you can't call, like you can't say, oh, like you can't call upon no other name except Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you know. So certain, certain guys in these camps, they're saying, oh, you know, that like you could call upon jesus and stuff you know you know which like that word jesus is a greek name you know and that's a greek terminology you know it says and it says baruch 3 and 7 for for this cause thou hast put thy name that's put thy fear in our hearts to the intent that we should call upon thy name yeah and we're in fear every day man as soon as we walk outside our house you know, 
you might be you, you might live in a house or or you might live in an apartment or whatever you, you know that you have to be always on the lookout man i think uh, a couple of days ago i i think uh i seen a, a thing uh, i think in brooklyn like, there was a woman she was going out i think she was going to a store and then a guy just stabbed her one you know like just you know like he had like they could just so a lot of spirits is out here man you know people who have mental illness and stuff but it's, it's spirits ultimately you know so you know so where you know so this is serious man it says for this cause thou has put thy fear in our hearts to intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity and that's what we're doing you know, and like that's why we're, you know, we're always uploading, making videos, making, you know, proper content, and and like we're edifying the sheep, you know. For we have called to mind all our iniquities of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us. For a reproach, a curse, yeah. So yeah, so we're scattered, man. You know, um, hence like the diaspora, man. You look at the word diaspora. We're scattered. The Israelites are scattered, man. Especially the the household of the house of Judah, especially, man. We're in India. You know, the Israelites are scattered throughout the whole earth, man. You know, and we're at the bottom. You know, and we're being oppressed. We're being murdered. We're being tamed. You know, they're doing all kinds of things, man. All kinds of things. Uh, you know. Even when you're like, even when you die, you know, like you're being oppressed. You know, they're doing all, a lot of things, man. It says for a reproach and a curse to be a subject. It said and to be subject to payment according to the iniquity of our fathers which have departed from our Lord. So. Yeah, so the most I judged that he like he's he judged us, man. He gave us a a fucking sad I mean, excuse my French, he gave us a terrible ass whooping, man. <laughs> you know, he be you know, he you know, so you know, so now we're trying to call you know, like we're calling upon the Lord every day, man. Like twenty four seven, man. You know, when we go outside our house or like when we're going in our vehicle, we like we're always called upon the Lord, man. You know, you know, um, you know, um, that we, you know, that we're called upon the Lord to the best of our ability, man. You know, because we're in this sinful flesh, but we still, you know, like we still call upon the Lord. And, um, yeah, so it says to be uh, afflict, oppressed, humble, be afflicted. To be down, like be bowed down, to put down, become low, become depressed. Yeah, so yeah, like we're like, you know, like that's why a lot of us sometimes, I know myself, I was, I went through a, a situation uh, a couple of years back and uh, I almost died, but God, you know, but Yahweh, he brought me back and his son on um, that Yahweh Shai and, you know, I'm still here. And uh, I give Yahweh thanks. I give Yahweh shy thanks. You know, it says to be afflicted, to stump, to humble oneself, bow down, to be afflicted, to be humbled, to to humble, mishandle, afflict, be humble, be humiliated, and that's it. Me, I went to a day party. I got I got humiliated, man. I shouldn't have never fucking been there. But it's like you know. But we're in this flesh. We try to go, you know, we go out and stuff. We try to have, you know, like try to go out and try and like look for, you know, a little thing, you know. But it's like anything, you know, but it's like you can't go amongst these niggas, man. Because these guys are, are, are demons, man. It says be humbled, be, uh, like to be afflicted, to humble, be weak in oneself. To be afflicted, to be humble, to afflict. To humble oneself to be afflicted, yeah, and that's it. So, uh, yeah, so I like me, I learned from first hand experience, man. So, it's better to be meek, 
you know, then be of a of of a humble spirit, man, because it doesn't make sense, man. You know, and uh, me me check up. I'm gonna kind of make this kind of brief. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of things. There's Psalms 22 verse 26 it says, "The meek shall be eat and be satisfied." They sh it says, "They shall praise the Lord that seek Him." Your heart shall live forever, and that's what we're looking for, man. You know, um, that the tree of life, you know, and live forever, man. That be immortal, man. You know, but uh, I'm about to um wrap this up. So I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, by Hashem El Shai, um, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned this truth and uh. Shalom, and, and, we, and we just have to continue on this walk, and, you know, and that's it, man. Shalom. Yabashim, Shabbat Shalom.